because they are they are in line with my expectations. That is why I went to select them because they meet my expectations, and I bring them to have this uh, cooperation or collaboration to ensure that things move forward. I'm not a coach; I am the manager, the manager in charge of selecting the players. So let me tell you again: I am trying to reconstruct or to rebuild uh, the team. Rebuilding means uh, time; it takes time to rebuild. You must be aware of this. It will take time, and then. In addition to that, today you can see the progress. I was criticized I was, because there was not a good game, not but that I would put player anyhow, anywhere. But if I do not call them, who will I call on? Who, uh, who, who, who is not here? Who should have been here? Tell me. So you need to know things properly. And when you ask a question, you should ask it with. Uh, uh, with etiquette, uh, with, uh, uh, with, uh, with certain awareness. I'm not against you, but uh, I'm trying to explain uh, you the real situation. Thank you. Please here, front, in green t-shirt. Uh, good evening, uh, Coach Patrick Giela for Sport 365. You were telling us yesterday during the press conference that that uh, that you're going to remain positive as and correct what went wrong uh, against uh, Gambia. What didn't what didn't go right tonight? This is very simple. We noticed that I really lacked, uh, or my players uh, uh, lacked uh, uh, youth. Uh, uh, I think uh, youth play. Uh, we are not experienced enough. Uh, lack of experience. Lack of experience has played against us. Uh, I have a young, a young, a young team with uh, very young players who are discovering the games. So there are. You can see that the, the goal that was scored when they are playing against Nigeria, uh, which is. Well, who are well, well positioned, and you suffer such a game, it is very hard. But my players are not capable enough yet to to play at a certain level. So by it's only by committing certain mistakes that they will grow up. But I think that this is a very good team. But by two and three or three years, I think they will be better. They will, they will be having a, another team in terms of improvement. Good evening, Coach. I am Jean-Vien Djikam from Pan-African magazine uh, Frontier Africa. Why have you maintained, or why did you maintain uh, Magri during 90 minutes, whereas you have a, a player of uh, the level of Mbanga who could have uh, put pressure on the Nigerian defense? I, uh, this was an, an option. Uh, uh, this was an option uh, uh, based on the system I, I was putting in place. I think that Magri deserved to, to stay in the game till the end because we wanted to, to play frontwards. Uh, we could have played it the way we did, but uh, these are uh, options uh, that must be uh, made. We were not able to get him play the way we wanted, but I think that he deserved to play uh, all the time, uh, the 90 minutes. Good evening, Coach. George uh, Mimbersi, you need to draw lessons from this match, from this game. We know how things uh, happen in Cameroon. Uh, the pressure, do you feel like uh, continuing from t today? Do you feel like continuing with the team? Yeah, having, yeah, I, am a, I am a fighter. I am a fighter and I like uh, challenges. And uh, as you know, I am under a contract. I will have time to have rest and then to assess the situation, take stock of, of what I've done and then decide. Good evening, coach. Uh, during the first round, Cameroon was the country with uh, the highest. Uh, we didn't see this uh, in the field on the pitch uh, tonight, because when we are facing the team which is well in place, like Nigeria, this can uh, disturb you, or we could have even uh, played a draw. 
against Nigeria. But this uh, naiveness of a, of a team I have, a young team I have, uh, without such mistakes, I think we could have uh, uh, taken up a challenge. But but we are not being uh, uh, too much disturbed either. We are not being put into shame. They, they tried their best but couldn't score. On the bottom of the room, the lady in white shirt. Thank you. Good evening. I am Angeline Aisha from Acte Communication. I, I, I think that you have a good representation, a good team, a performing team, but uh, you are facing a very strong team, a very well-built team. My question has to do with your substitution. You were, you, 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 were, you, you were late in the score, and still you didn't, keep, you didn't put in a player like uh, Bouaka Vincent. And Bouaka Vincent has just uh, healed from an injury. So if we left him, it's not just because we wanted to leave him on the bench. You know, at a point in time, uh, the player and his uh, body, um, he knows what his body can do. And he requested, uh, the, uh, if he requested to play just 10 minutes or 5 minutes, we cannot force him uh, to do it or to go beyond or to play beyond this time. Good evening, coach. Now the coach should be for the cameraman in the bottom of the room. <coughs> Good evening, Coach. Magasi Kura from Voice, Voice of America. Yesterday, uh, during our press conference, and even be, 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 since your last uh, game, we were talking about Hamlet. So, do, do you or do you lack this? Uh, do you lack this tonight? Uh, did you lack this tonight? Yes, I think that we lacked it. We lacked it. They were not able uh, to keep to this uh, stage. You know, uh, Imble does not happen uh, on any time, on uh, any particular day. It can happen when you keep uh, working hard and uh, overcoming certain situations, then you grow up. But today, let us uh, acknowledge that my teams have done their work. Uh, they have what they are supposed to do. But we have lacked uh, experience uh, because we, have in we are facing a quality team of Nigeria. Bonsoir. Good evening, Coach. Jiris Caption from AFTV TV, TV uh, Television, Dwala Cameroon. This was your first uh, can as a manager, as a manager of uh, Indomitable Lions. What are the key lessons that you have drawn from this participation of Cameroon in Cote d'Ivoire? You know, this is a job in which you keep learning on a daily basis. Like, uh, you know, gathering experience. I have learned a lot from this competition. And I can see things differently. When you are a player and you are a manager, uh, these are totally two different worlds. Uh, to, I remain, I would say, I remain open to any criticism, but uh, I think we need constructive criticism. And it's only through this uh, kind of criticism that we can improve. I am still new in the job here. I will continue learning, improving, and see if uh, I can uh, continue uh, coaching the team or managing the team and see how we can improve for the next time. Coach, Coach. Uh, I want to ask about the Nigerian team. My name is Anthony Bekedermo from Lagos, Nigeria. What would be your honest assessment of the Nigerian team? Would you consider, consider the Nigerian team good enough to win the Afghan, judging from the performance today? Uh, not uh, really. I think that they were not better than us, but they did what they were expected to do, they should do. You know, in football, you have a maturity. You, individually, when you take these players, you know them better than I do. And today, they did what they were, uh, they were expected to do. And maybe we were those who gave them the opportunity to do more. But uh, it's my belief that individually, this is a very good team. 
because they know themselves and they, they are playing together for for some time. And today, tonight, I think they could have done better. Uh, they could have done much better. But today or tonight, we were those who gave them the opportunity to be uh, to be more performing or to perform higher. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bonsoir, coach. Good evening, coach. Uh, Patrick Kwasi from Frontier d'Afrique. Uh, coach, this is uh, your fourth match in this camp, in this Afghan. How do you explain that uh, in every match you still have very different team? You present very different players. This is because you, do not, you are not living with us on a daily basis. There are players who got uh, injured. We cannot impose them to play. Can, and maybe others may have other concerns. So I don't know uh, where, why. I would be blamed for not uh, uh, not putting in the match someone who is doing who is uh, or who is feeling well or who is who is not feeling well. So uh, so uh, we have to do with what we have uh, in terms of players in terms of capacity. So this is what we did during this competition. Last question. Good evening again, Coach Carl uh, Jomo from Joga Bonito. During or uh, throughout the competition, we we noticed a lack of creativity uh, among your team, in particular on uh, kick on free kicking, free kick. Uh, you say that the team is being built. How do you uh, plan building this creativity? Uh, so this is my uh, my question. So this is it's only by repeating efforts you have to repeat to rehearse on a daily basis, and this is the only way for you to progress. So by repeating, by rehearsing, you move forward. So I think that people may say anything. I am in agreement with you. But tonight, this uh, uh, this team, you pl please bear with me and wait two years and see whether they will not find the best skills and just find them as a homogeneous team. You will tell me later. Thank you.